Not the only police action in question tonight. Check out this video out of Salisbury showing a tense interaction between protesters and police. People in the crowd saying they were nearly trampled by officers in riot gear as they were kneeling. But officers say they were provoked first. Our Brianna Harper is live with more on this Salisbury situation. But first, Brianna, uh, what are you seeing tonight in Uptown? Or Sarah, earlier this week in Salisbury, it was a similar situation like this. Very calm, very peaceful protest. But those who were out there in Salisbury said it quickly took a turn when riot officers approached them aggressively. Monday night, close to 100 protesters filled the town square here in downtown Salisbury. Take that moment of silence, Most of the event happening near the famed Confederate monument. Or just a day before, Salisbury police arrested Jeffrey Long for firing a gun during a different rally. And now protesters say at that moment, that same man had returned. Whenever the protesters went to address him, the police officers that were standing right beside the gentleman went to go protect the gentleman and blocked us off with his bike. I'm told the man and the officer began walking away and the protesters followed. That's when SWAT officers stepped in. They were already dressed in their riot gear. They had their shields and their helmets and their batons. And so whenever we saw that, we started shitting no justice, no peace. Organizer Shanadia Cowan said someone in the crowd then threw an empty water bottle. And in order to de-escalate the situation, she says she and other protesters started to kneel, saying, hands up, don't shoot. As soon as that we got down on our knees, the um, police started charging at us. So they continued to trample over us and kick us back and people were trying to pick me up. And then protesters say officers threw tear gas into the crowd. Cowan went to the hospital and tells us she suffered injury from the assault and later filed a formal complaint with the Salisbury Police Department. Later, I got a call from Sergeant Schuler telling me that he was he had seen my video and according to him, he didn't feel like any police officers used excessive force. Salisbury PD also took to social media to further explain the confrontation saying in part, quote, we're working on ourselves daily to ensure that we always do the right thing. We value lives. Black lives matter. The police department also says they were attacked with rocks that evening and had to respond accordingly to protect officers. It kind of was frightening, especially because we really didn't give them much reason to do that. The organizer says they still plan to continue their protest this Sunday, but will gather in East Spencer instead. And as this protest continues, of course, there will be several other protests happening over the weekend. But of course, the goal of Mug All is to keep everything peaceful. Reporting live in Uptown, Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte. Brianna, thank you.